former commissioner for information in a due state, Prince Kasim Afegbua, on Saturday said Ashwaji Bola Atinobu, presidential candidate of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, has the best qualities to lead Nigeria among all other candidates that have shown interest in the 2023 presidential election. Addressing some cross section of Nigerians in London, United Kingdom, UK, Afegba said he is in the country to promote the candidacy of Ashwaju Bolatinubu, who, in my estimation, fits into the bill of 2023 presidency than any other candidate. While admitting that the 2023 presidential election is a three horse race, Afegba said Atiku Abubaka, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as through his actions shown that he is not interested in the unity of Nigeria by seeking to become president after President Muhammad Buhari, another northerner, is completing eight years in office. Nigeria needs Tinubu to lead this country from May 29, 2023 because he is the best among those who have so far showed interest with all sense of responsibility and experience in political management. In my advocacy experience and my understanding of the intricate logic of the Nigerian Federation, I have continued to say it relentlessly that under a plural society that Nigeria is, with our diversities, it is a requirement for you to balance all the algorithms of power between the northern and southern protectorates, tracing our history from 1914 to date. So if a president... Buhari is finishing eight years as president of Nigeria of Northern Extraction. The law of natural justice prescribes that it should be the son of the Southern Protectorate, except you want to halt the unity of Nigeria or you want to further deepen the crisis. That is where you begin to converse for another Northern succeeding Buhari. See, as this one don't shoot in seven on the leg. So you are talking about the equity. You don't want crisis to happen. So when they talk of a uh, north and south. Well, the same affect just left a PDP. Hmm. So you went to go and tell a uh, diaspora, those who are in the in the diaspora, that uh, this is it. So they don't know what it is. And the same thing that uh, Peter B went out outside the country. APC people will tell you, oh, why are you going? They are not going to vote. They are not going to do this. So why is he going now on behalf of Etinumbu? Well, we don't even need to. Uh, beggar the issue. We need to state it so simply as it should be that Nigeria is a heterogeneous country that is sitting on a tripod. If the tripod is not working as a function of the disparities, at least the north and south must work. You are saying tripod. When you talk of tripod, that means you have the Yoruba, Igbos, and the Aousa. The Aousa are coming from the north. Why the Igbos southeast and the Yoruba southwest? You talk if you talk about the tripod, but now you guys are trying trying to be half uh, to be smart by half. I don't understand. He said, "Of course, you are all aware that I have left the PDP formally as a result of a large article of papers emergence against the run of play at the PDP convention. I am supporting Ashwaju Tinubu's aspiration by." my own estimation that he has better qualities and better understanding of the dominant issues in the country with a view to uniting us than a Peter Obi or Atiku Abu Bakr. They call Atiku a unifier, but I am not sure he has the able he has been able to unify his home. So all of that rhetoric can sit away with me based on my understanding of Nigeria political dynamics. Speaking about Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, Afegba said Obi will decide PDP's vote, divide PDP's votes in the southeast, but we find it difficult to get votes in some key northern states. Take a bit a Peter Obi, for example, he is the rave of the moment youth are following him and all of that. Truth is, he can't break into the political structure of some dominant states in the north. He may be popular in the South, particularly in the Southeast, but he won't be able to muster the required votes that will get him the presidency. 
at any rate i haven't even seen any of the qualities that have been routed or touted about him across board i watched his interview on cnn it was very drab bland no depth but say uh, your own person he never even come out can't even tell us what he wants is he the one that is dozing off i say this with all sense of responsibility as a presidential candidate you can't be telling me you are coming to solve Nigeria's security problem. No, you should be telling me that you intend to do what you intend to do to solve the problem, not by making general statements that can be said by even a kindergarten puppy. And your candidate is running away. He has not come out to say anything in a meaningful discussion. I see why is it that this man has not even been interviewed? I don't understand. Hmm. Can you imagine? <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. Afegba, do you think uh, that uh, those in diaspora are fools that they don't even know how the APC failed Nigeria and even how Sinubu looted legal states? I'm sorry, you have failed. Afegba is a man of honor who always stand on the truth. Which truth? If you are talking about a uh, sincerity of heart, so you talk about uh, the north and south. He lacks integrity and morality to advise anybody. God will surprise all of them that wants us to remain in Egypt. This Kasim Afegba is a very confused man who does not even have any electoral bearing or relevance. On what moral ground do you stand to accuse Atiku when you're guilty of the same offense by campaigning for Tinubu from southwest of the country? I don't understand what... You are, you, are, you are saying Atiku is this, but you are not talking about uh, the Southwest who has been in power. You say it has to be, you know, when they want to be mischievous, they will not uh, tell you North and South. Mm, he has no integrity. If he has, he knows it is Ubi that can fix this country, not APC, but God has the final say. You want to go abroad to meet, uh, you went to abroad to meet the diasporas anyway. You and your party may be disgraced knowing the condition of Nigeria of today. Please go and test now. What moral justification do you have to condemn a candidate when you are doing the same thing? If you want power to go to the southern part of Nigeria, you have to consider which of the zones in the south that has not occupied position of precedence. As I said, he shot himself in the foot. We know that you are a scavenger looking for what you are going to grab. Why is your life like this, Afegbua? Well, dare not. You will be pet with objects because your candidate's bad reputation is known worldwide. I said this. He don't need a sister to start telling you this and that. His evil plan to rule like Abacha and Buhari had been revealed by his uh, vice president's uh, candidate. Presidential candidate Shetima, this equal to looting, killing, and hardships. I'm sorry for you. It is easy to criticize. Now, Obi was asked how he will solve Nigeria's problems. He has not, he has no depth of intellect and understanding of the problem. So he thought uh, recruiting more police and creating um, state police will solve the security problem. He will fight corruption as if corruption is a boxer. Anyway, we are all will be whatever. Is fighting corruption not one of the agendas that your master and his political accomplice used during campaign? Why didn't you criticize them? Anyway, you should know by now that we are all not Agbado eaters. Neither have we all sold our conscience for Agbado like you people. So this is what a you are all about your stomach. Shame on you, Afegbua. She, 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 shame on you. Hmm.